Taurus. What's up, fool? Gang. What's up, baby? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. <laughs> this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Mocha. Um, also, this is your first time viewing my channel. I might cuss a little. I might cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say, okay? So, if you don't like cussing, this is not your channel. Um, I would like to thank everyone for my like, share, subscribes, and comments. I appreciate every single one of them. I do, I do, I do. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to the family. We pour tea, we give tea, we give enlightenment, we give encouragement, not just for Mocha, to each other because we're family here, okay? I don't like long intros. Mocha is having to maneuver to try and get all of these reels out as many as I can in an allotted amount of time. I know y'all see me dressed out fancy or whatnot, like, yeah, like, so, you know, I, I might got somewhere to go or whatnot. Am I right? I'm trying to better my little self. <laughs> But I've been, um, if my energy is not right, you know I'm not coming to YouTube. So um, I've been trying to ground myself and hugging some trees and shit, you know, and getting me right with my life, okay? So I don't like long intro, job reading, no, this is just general. Read the personal reading. I have three different types. All of that information can be found within the description. I'm not 100% book. Hit me up, all right? Um, what else I want to say? Oh, I've been forgetting to say it. My Gemini baby, she has a, a Instagram page. Her name is. Um, at Natural Market, y'all go get on Insta, go check her shit out. Um, if you need the spelling, lower in the link. I do see. I think I put her Instagram page um, in the link in the description box below. Please go check her out. She got some bomb ass shit. Low key, she actually made me go and get my Instagram back. I might start doing babies on Instagram. I'm not 100 percent sure. Got a few things up my sleeve, but I gotta get my life first. All right. So again, long intros. This is for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watches of Taurus. Let's get it, okay? <laughs> These are general. Do not inbox me. That bums of a bag bag. Of course, let me get y'all. Let me first get y'all. Y'all know, I wasn't really hardly having a tourist view us like that. I don't know if I had to show a little thigh. I don't know what the hell happened. On the last video, I was stretching my thigh. Um, and, yeah, I got some interesting emails. I don't know. All right. I got text. Everything is big and thick. I don't know. Look, don't send me that type of stuff, all right? <laughs> this is supposed to be enlightenment, not the love connection, okay? Now, if you say, you know, the beautiful mocha, you're pretty, you say, okay, that's fine. But don't send me no emails with that old lustful shit, because I don't play that shit, all right? I'm going to send you your mama a little bit, and you're not going to like it, so don't do that, all right? Let's get it. Let's be respectful, all right? So, Taurus, let's get it. Spirit, what do you have for mid month June from the 15th to the 30th of June for my Taurus shit, all right? White Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Taurus. Okay. Taurus. Mm. Mm. Excuse me if y'all hear my country daddy. That's why he talk like we live in East Texas instead of Houston. Oh, jeez. Mm. It's not a hot this source. All right. All right, this is what I have for my tours from the mid month June or the 15th to the 30th of June. All right. Beautiful, actually. Tours. Um, some of y'all want to turn around a situation possibly with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like if you dealt with this person from your past, and I do see that you definitely could have been dealing with this person from your past, so you could be dealing with this person now. Some of y'all are having reciprocity issues. If you're dealing with a earth sign like yourself, um, Capricorn towards Virgo, um, I feel like y'all have reciprocity. Some of y'all feel like you're putting in more work than this other person. Some of y'all feel like y'all giving more to this earth sign. Um, especially if you have a family with this uh, situation with this person, a family dynamic. Some of y'all want to turn around the, the 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 equal give and take, okay? Uh, bring a change to the equal give and take. I feel like for some of y'all, for most of y'all, you have everything that you need. I feel like you've gained enough wisdom, enough um, wisdom as far as love, how to love this person. I feel like you and this person actually do very well when it comes to um, 
everything else is self reciprocity. Something about the reciprocity, the equal give and take. I feel like you're giving more into this relate. You feel like you're giving more into this relationship, or this is how you be feeling in my June. But you're giving more into this relationship, possibly due to a family dynamic, and you feel like this other person that you have a family with could possibly not be pulling their weight. I feel like a lot of y'all are just taking it, you're not communicating this to this person. I feel like y'all, there's a lot of passion here. Okay, but some of y'all, some of y'all want to turn around the situation, maybe with someone in your past, that maybe an Aries Leo Sag, and I can honestly say, some of y'all will be doing this, some of y'all will be moving towards the Aries Leo Sag to make a turnaround in the way things end with y'all, I feel like this is a relationship that you're trying to nurture, especially if you recently met a fire side, this is someone who you see you having a family with, okay, I feel like for some of y'all, y'all holding y'all feelings close to your chest, you're not communicating this, however, you are, um, you're very passionate, you're coming in, you know, you're kind of, uh, pulling your weight, this person, I feel like this person actually offers you that reciprocity, they offer you this, but I feel like some of y'all are tied to a Virgo towards Capricorn that you've been dealing with, maybe you have a family with, maybe this fire sign is a new person, okay, and I feel like for some of y'all, some of you, you just want things to be fair, you want to uh, be able to continue working on, you know, your relationship that you're just building with this person with all this passion, all this, uh, I feel like a lot of y'all have a spiritual connection with this person, whoever this fire sign is, you see them as the ultimate lover. You see them as two counterparts. Yeah, I feel like they have the queen and king of wands. So I feel like you see this person to be your equal. You see this person, y'all literally mirror one another in every aspect of your life. This is someone who you want to deal with. However, you know that you're going to have to possibly either set up some boundaries or not really cut off possibly a Virgo, uh, another Virgo Taurus, Capricorn like yourself. I feel like... But y'all going to have to, whoever it is that you've been nurturing through their circumstance and nurturing through just primarily taking care of, some of y'all going to have to build boundaries with this person and kind of be true to what it is that you want, I, I feel like. But some of y'all, I feel like some of y'all going to be finding out if you've been doing a Virgo towards Capricorn for some time, some of y'all going to be finding out to stay pregnant, especially if you've been living with this person for eight years, eight months, eight weeks. Number eight is very prevalent. And I feel like in order for y'all to move forward and just have this beautiful everything, especially if you even what you've been dealing with this person, I don't see any bullshit just yet. I gotta clarify, okay? But from what I see, you ultimately have the perfect family dynamic coming, okay? However, there's needing to be boundary set, okay, it's having to do with reciprocity, okay, because I feel like there's a lot of passion with this person, I feel like you see this person as like the mother, the father, your children, somebody who you can settle down with, who you can grow with, who you can build with, who you can actually accomplish major things with, and actually ultimately be the major goal, or the ultimate goal of this Queen of Pentacles, okay, I feel like some of y'all are already at the nine by your damn self, but you need this person to come on, like, I'm going from the eight to the nine, all right, and ultimately, I want us to be in queen status, but you got to give your part. I can't do everything all right by myself. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a of Scorpio as well, possibly. Or there needs to be a transformation within love. I feel like y'all not walking away from it, but it needs to transform. And the way that you transform it is through communication and communicating how you feel to this person because the passion, the love, um, the amount of work that's willing to be put is there, but... Maybe because you're doing every damn thing, this person feel like they ain't got you. So speak up for yourself. Maybe they don't know. Maybe you feel like you're giving too much. Spirit, please clarify the magician. My choice. Yeah. That could be a turnaround or whatever. I got the Eight of Pentacles again. That could be a turnaround or whatever it is that you've been working on with this person. I feel like Watch who you tell your business to, because y'all got snakes around y'all tours. Watch who you tell your business to. Everybody business ain't your business, and everybody ain't your friend, and everybody ain't going to be happy for your blessing. Six of Pentacles, yeah, some of y'all, there's love there, especially if you're dealing with a water sign, especially if you, if you have Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Um, there's definitely love there, but I feel like this person does not reciprocate well. If you're dealing with this, that's the water sign that's not reciprocating well. Some of y'all, some of y'all are moving towards... <sighs> Shit. Some of y'all I feel like are stuck between an Aries and a water sign. But with this Aries, I feel like this is someone who you can actually see yourself growing with, having all of your everything with. But with, with, with this water sign, the only thing that lacks is I feel like emotional reciprocity. This could be it, or reciprocity and love. Like 
understanding, trust, truth, you know, compromise. Yeah, I feel like somebody, some of y'all might be cutting off somebody who you got a family with. Um, due to you just being true to yourself, some of y'all are just, yeah, I got two fives again, five of swords. I feel like when you, when you try to set these boundaries, this person, whoever this is, if it's a water sign or earth sign, they feel left out in the cold. Also, they may make, the, may, they may take a petty walk of shame. And I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all, most of y'all I see, you're going to let them. Because what they don't know is my dream girl, my dream guy is here and now it's time. So either we're going to fix this or I'm going to dip, okay, and go get everything I want because I know when God's trying to give it to me. As above, so below. That's your energy towards King of Wands. Clarify this King of Wands. Please clarify this King of Wands. Of course, yes, some of y'all are ending your cycle to go into a new one with this fire sign, okay? With Cancer Pisces, I'm going to cancel with Aries, Leo, Sag, but it's going to be after cutting somebody out who possibly you have a family with. Eight of Pentacles, what is towards working on? Yeah, crazy judgment. I got the world and the judgment, two tens on both cards, beginning, ending, the new beginning. So I feel like whatever it is that you've been trying to work on in this family dynamic, okay, I feel like you're trying to offer this person a beginning. You're trying to offer it. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all finally going to trust y'all intuition and possibly offer um, offer this pinnacle, okay, to this Aries Leo Sag, okay, after making a judgment call, like, you know what, this shit here, yeah, we got a family and whatnot, but this shit is, 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 is not for me, some of y'all actually have changes in dynamics of a family situation, okay, only if you communicate it, so you have to communicate and be true to yourself. You have to you can't be real with nobody else if you can't be real with yourself to it. I feel like some of y'all are some of y'all are being defensive towards every fucking thing because you focused on money. Okay, you just like fuck love, fuck everything, fuck everything around it. I just want some money. What a point is, all right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Please clarify the discord, okay? So some of y'all are actually going to be walking away possibly from a Scorpio. Or some of y'all could be walking away from your blessing. Some of y'all going to walk away from the blessing. Like some of y'all going to stay in your family dynamic and not actually, y'all going to continue being victims of emotional manipulation from someone. So like that reciprocity is emotional reciprocity. And I feel like God is trying to bless you. I'm trying to give you this blessing out the, out the, out the clouds. But you still want to cry over these damn three cups that, and you ain't looking at shit. You so busy looking down. You so busy worried about being down over possibly another earth sign or water sign, okay, that you missing what I'm trying to give you. Queen of Pentacles. Can please clarify the Queen of Pentacles? The Chariot, okay? So some of y'all, some of y'all will be moving away from a Queen of Pentacles. Um... To balance yourself, I feel. And in that midst of balancing will the perfect love, the love that's for you, that uh, resonates with your soul, the deepest love, a deeper, a deeper connection with the one, everything that you want, spiritually, financially, mentally, it's here. But you got to choose you first, okay? And either move towards fixing shit or move away from someone or a situation that just can't be fixed. But you got to be true to yourself, okay? Because some of y'all, most of y'all, or working your ass off, but you don't even know if you want to keep working on this shit or walk away from it. But most of y'all, this is ending a cycle with somebody and moving on with someone, um, possibly a fire sign. Um, after ending the cycle with either an earth or a water sign, all right? Somebody is going to have to be left out in the cold. Somebody going to be left out. But honestly, you got to be true to you. You can't be true to nobody else or be true to the world if you can't be true to you. As above, so below. Taurus, you bring the beauty to every the beauty to every situation. You bring the beauty out of the most ugliest shit. And so if people can't see that, receive it and give you back what you deserve and be grateful for you and you... Expressing yourself causes so much fucking uproar where it takes away from you emotionally and make you feel like I don't know if I want to keep working on this shit or not. Have to be true to you, okay? How much longer do you want to feel that shit? It's up to you, right? This is what I have for y'all for mid month June. I love you very, very, very much. Please comment, let me know how this resonates, and I will see y'all for the month of July. Mm -hmm. Love you, babies. <laughs>